Hey guys! In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to prep your ESP8266 01 and 07 or 12 modules. Now, this is not strictly necessary, but I find that doing this makes it a lot easier to set up and deal with these devices. So across these devices, there are a couple of just required pins that need to be pulled high or low in order for them to even boot up properly. Not even, not including any of your own hardware that you've attached or programming them, but just to make them start up correctly. So on the O1 module, the VCC pin is this little corner pin right here. And the CHPD pin is this pin in the middle right here, just one jumped over from the VCC pin. So we need to bridge these two together. And because we need to bridge them together in basically every project we're doing, I figure it's just a lot easier just to solder these two pins together rather than each project connecting them on whatever board we're building. So to do that, I like to take just a little tiny piece of wire here and just have it kind of bent like that and just solder it and connect those two pins together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, now you can see I have the CHPD, this center pin here, and the VCC pin, those are connected. Now, this isn't the best solder job, and I'm going to clip a little bit off here just to make sure that nothing bridges and, and shorts on the board. And that's all you have to do. It's just as simple as, as making this little bridge here, and that way you don't have to do that every time you go and you set up a project using one of these. Now, the one main thing that you want to watch out for is bridging onto the reset pin here this other center pin. That's why we bowed this little piece of metal is to prevent the uh, VCC from connecting to reset because that will reset the chip and we don't want that. We just want to boot it up correctly. So I do that every new ESP module I get and if for some reason I, I need the CHPD pin to not be just always connected to VCC, I'll just unsolder this. It's easy enough to undo all this work here. It only takes, you know, 20 or 30 seconds to do it to begin with. So, yeah. Now, the ESP07 module is a little bit more complicated. First of all, everything's just a little bit smaller on it and there's a different layout of the pins. But effectively, the first thing that we need to do is again we have the VCC and EN pins so that is this pin right here this EN is the same as the CHPD pin and we need to connect that to VCC so I'm going to go ahead and solder a little wire connecting these two together and then we'll move on to the next step Alright, so there we have it. Now we have the VCC and CHPD, or the enable pin, connected to each other for th through this little blue wire. And on the 07 and 12 modules, there's another step that we have to take. So before this will actually boot correctly, we actually have to take pin 15, which is the pin just one up from ground, and we have to connect it to ground. So luckily we don't have to do any bridging across the board. We just bridge the VCC and CHPD enable pin and the ground and pin 15. So I have just a tiny little bit of wire that I'm going to solder and connect and bridge those two little connections now. And there we go. Now we have the CHEN and VCC connected and ground and GPIO 15. So now at this point, 
when we just apply power to this, it will run just like the O1 module. They will both start up and start running whatever code is on board. So we don't need any extra uh, connections at this point besides power to make these things run. And it's just, it makes things a lot easier to just sort of start off with a board that will run rather than having to add connections just to make it turn on. So I do this to most of my boards. In fact, I've done it to all of my boards. And it does make things a lot easier when you're starting with a new project. Uh, the one thing that I will note on the 07 module is I've been connecting to the little half pins, the little uh, half moon connections on the outside, not to the actual sockets. And that's to allow me to be able to pop this onto a programmer that does have those little pins. And if you want to see this, how to make this little programmer here, check out the video on screen now because this makes it so that you can program an 07 or a 20 using a programmer or flasher that's built for the 01 module. We just adapt the pinouts. So if you want to see how to make this, go check that video out too. And that's all for now. I'll see you guys later.